Hi everybody, just making a quick video about Fusion 360, a bit of mathematics and a bit of parameters. And this came to my mind when I was looking the other day to a video from Kelvin where we had a rectangle and we want to mill this rectangle to fit a piece just, a piece just inside. And if you're not doing anything special, then let's go to CAM module, but it, it's very obvious if we are doing a cut and we simulate the tool path so what we see is that the tool is not coming into the corner so we have round corner and if the piece we want to fit has exactly the same dimension well it doesn't fit so what can we do about that well we can make some corner in our model so let's go and sketch this. And let's make a circle. And what we want, let's zoom in this corner. What we want actually is to make this hole on the side of the model as small as possible. So ideally, we just want the tool to go deep enough that he reach the corner, but not further. So the question is, is how deep does it need to go? So a bit of mathematics here. If drawing a line from the corner to the center, and then vertically, vertically to the top, we see that we have a triangle rectangle. So where the square root of this side is equal to the square root of the sum from both sides here. So if we know the radius here of this circle, and we know it because it's the radius of our tool, then we know at which distance we can place our circle. So let's go back a while and deleting these parts and moving back our circle and going to the parameters from Fusion. So let's create a couple of user parameters. And the first one is my tool diameter. And I have now a three millimeter tool mounted and defined in the camp section. Now to be sure, the hole I want to make, I'm calling all diameter, it will be just a bit bigger, it will be tool diameter plus zero dot, let's say zero 0.5 millimeter, so a very small delta. Why am I doing this? Because if you're taking as a whole the exact diameter of the tool, it could be that when Fusion is running the, the camp part, they say, well, I cannot fit my tool in there and won't go in. So just making a little bit bigger help. And since I was talking about radius and to make the next formula a bit more simple, Let's define the whole radius as being the whole diameter divided by 2. So it's as simple as that when you use the parameter. And then we want to calculate our delta. So let's call it whole delta. So we're talking about the distance from the side of my rect rectangle to the center of the tool, center of my circle. And that will be the square root of my whole radius squared. And actually, we need to divide it by 2, so which is our rectangle triangle, triangle rectangle, sorry, uh, equation. So now we have a problem, it's red. So it means that Fusion doesn't like it. And what is the problem? Well, the problem seems to be related to the units and square root doesn't want to work on millimeters. So we have whole radius is millimeter, whole radius is millimeters. So we have square millimeter here and uh, it doesn't like too much. So instead of dividing by two, we divide it by two millimeter. And actually, that's still not enough because we still have millimeter here. So we divide again by one millimeter. And now suddenly, Fusion is happy. 
So just enter OK and the result will be 1.078 mm and we save it. So fantastic, Fusion can calculate that for us. So let's place our circle then. So going to dimension mode, our circle diameter is whole diameter and we want to position it from the border here and its whole delta and the same between the borders here its whole delta as well and fantastic you can you can see let's zoom here that the circle the tool will just touch the border here so that that's all we need so let's make that for the whole rectangle so drawing a couple of circles and when I do this I never try to position them somewhere or giving them the right size because then it's obvious when you dimension them that they will pick the right size so you're sure that you apply the changes you want to apply. So going again in dimension mode, I want the diameter equal to this diameter, diameter here, and I could each time refer to my variable, but it's sometimes faster to do the, the point and click. And again, I want to position here at this distance from the border and I pick the dimension there and again here from the border and it is the same dimension so I have the two extremes positioned I could do the same for these two or I just can instead of that use constraint and say that these two guys need to be horizontal vertical and these two needs to be horizontal vertical and the same here selecting these two points again horizontal vertical so they are all position and my drawing is all black which confirms that everything is set in place and set properly so how does it look like on our part? Uh, we don't see any difference yet. Well, obviously we need to update the extrude and selecting the correct border. Oops, missed it, I think. Edit feature, yes. Leading and just selecting the borders. Okay. And now I have my corners here that are minimal, so this is really the, the small holes I can do. And let's look in the camp part to see what we have. And look at the contour, and obviously I need to regenerate it here. Generate toolpath. And we see now that the tool is really going just a bit into the corner to make my rectangle looks like as it should and we can go again into the simulation part show the stock and you see that the tool really is going whole parts if I take the top view you see also that it's really the minimum that the tool can do to go to the edge of my corner of my rectangle sorry so let's close this and go back to the model side because the nice part of that is that it's now fully parametric. I can go back to my parameter and say, well, actually, no, I'm not going to mill with my 3 millimeter mill, but uh, I have a 1.6 millimeter tool if my memory serves well. I click on OK and see my model has changed. So let's go back to the cam. I need to regenerate my tool path and oh surprise it's not going there anymore well okay that's normal I haven't changed my tool here so 
let's go in edit mode and I had my 3mm uh, tool selected so go in my library and I select the 1.6 OK and again no it's perfect my 1.6 mil is going into the holes and again these are the minimal holes I can do for fitting my part in it. So that's all I wanted to show you so maybe you learned something or you have at least a bit fun. Thank you!